Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we cleared out the rockets from the radio tower. Came here to the tin tower to discover this is where Suicune is waiting for us to be tested. Now, um, I've saved a few times and tried a few times. I hope this time it goes a lot smoother for me. So we can see Entei and Raikou run around the world. Suicune stays and challenges us. So, I think this was the very first time that in a Pokemon game a legendary got its own music and it was mandatory for us to continue in the story. Now, um, I'm just going to throw Hypnosis in here. It didn't affect Suicune. So I'm just going to keep using Hypnosis until it affects. So Kapora will basically be taking a lot of damage. I am attempting to catch Suicune. I don't intend to have him in the party. Uh, he or she, because it's genderless. So what I'm going to do, I've put him to sleep. Um, I'm just going to try and wait, let his HP down and that just... Bad. It woke up already. Okay. Um. Let's just wait. Let's HP down and then hope for the best. Okay. Oh, that was a critical hit. Are you kidding me? Um. Let's just keep using fly, I guess, and hope for the best. Like I keep saying, it just can hit us while we're using fly. Great. Oh, I've got his HP down to that one. I'm going to use another Hypnosis to hope for the best. Oh, great. Well, we'll use the next Pokemon. Uh, we'll be using Axel. What I'm going to do with Axel, I'm just going to use Cut, because it's probably the weakest of the attacks I have. Yeah, that really didn't do much. So just let's just use abuse cut. Oh, rain dance. That's bad. Okay, now let's time to uh, just abuse the great balls I bought. So I'm going to be using all trying to use the great balls I bought. So no, not even one. Not even one. Um, so let's just abuse it. Hopefully I capture it. Okay, this time. One, two, oh! Thought we would have had it. Axel, you've just got to attack these hits, dude. Okay. One, oh! Bubble Beam shouldn't do much to us. Uh, stand corrected, because of the rain dance, it caused more damage. Um, fourth Great Ball? And it didn't even shake, so. And Axel's down. So, um, I'm going to switch out to Carbon and hope for the best. Uh, so, all Carbon has to do is just tank some hits. I don't know why I choose Pokemon. Great Ball, Ball number 5. One. Oh. Throw it again. Nothing. Um, okay, so I might actually have to use these Ultra Balls after all. So I know we can. We're going to Blackthorn, and we can buy some more. The thing is, in Blackthorn, there is a someone I can capture for that I want for my team. So it didn't even stay in the ball. We might be here for some time, guys. So. The 
Way to go, Coven. You couldn't even... Crush. So, uh, I'm gonna go buy the Mega Ray Balls. I've got plenty of them. I'm just gonna abuse them. Might as well. I bought them. Uh, didn't even stay in the ball. Great ball. Again. I didn't even count that time. Falls. Just use another great ball. I don't know how many I've used now. Would you at least it stay in the ball to it for it to shake it a few times? I might be here for some time. Uh, so, I'm going to off screen to the point where I actually capture Suicune. So, with that being said, I want you to take note 41 great balls, right? See you guys in just a moment. I'm back guys. I had to reset it and I am pissed at what happened. So our Usain congratulates us from capturing Suicune. Uh, I failed my first attempt so I had to reset my game. Um, he's just going to congratulate us about the legendaries if you're wondering what you're talking about. What I was talking about, I had to reset my game. In yeah, I failed miserably. This time, when I reset the game, I went back into the battle with Suicune. I caught it with Kapora! And the rest of my team alive. Not only that, I went in with 52 great balls for the first time. Yeah! My pecking it to get it down to Ren Health, one hypnosis, and threw my first ball, and I catch Suicune. Seriously, so all that, bad luck on camera, to then off camera, and I catch it first time. Needless to say, I am not happy. Anyway, with that, we can now deposit Suicune to live in the PC forever. Yeah, we have caught a legendary Pokemon and we're just gonna let it rot in the PC. You are not the PC. Bye Suicune. But with all that, it is now time for us to venture on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heal the team up and we are going to venture on to Mahogany. I am also on the way to the next part. I will level off the team off screen to the respective levels of level 42 like I intended. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay guys, so I'm back and um, obviously Mahogany Town and Route 44 is the way we want to go. I've already battled the trainers off screen um, just to get the experience for the guys. Um, everyone is level 42 like I said, Akamaru did not learn that move at level 42 so it must be another, it is in the 40s I do remember, uh, but it's obviously not 42. Carbon, it finally evolved into Weezing, so that 
we now have a more bulkier Pokemon. Uh, Kapora also learned the move Confusion, so we now have a psychic move to our arsenal, so uh, that's good. Uh, Axel didn't learn any moves at all, he just became a lot bulkier and now can hold his own. Uh, with that being said, we're just going to venture on. Now, we have two fishermen on this route. One of them, you want their number? Uh, I didn't battle her, really? Okay. But while I'm battling her, I'll tell you that uh, two fishermen on this route, one of them you want to get their number because uh, they will let you know when a swarm of quillfish will appear. Quillfish is a alright-ish Pokemon if you want that po poison and water uh, sort of combination. I don't really recommend poison and water together. But if you're into that thing, then Quillfish is obviously the water type for you. So, she's gonna have Blossom, Bellossom, to end things off. Uh, we're just gonna use Horn Attack here. I honestly thought she's charging up a Solar Beam. I honestly thought we'd battle everyone on this route. I am obviously mistaken. So uh, I must have just glimpsed past her, to be quite honest. So we defeated Sybil. Um, so with that we can move on. Uh, you can find an uh, Ultra Ball on here. Yeah, I had Insult to Injury. And, and then here's Ice Cave. Now, um, or Ice Path even. There's a few things you want to do here in Ice Path. Um, I recommend doing so. Now I don't have, I don't know if I have any repels or such. You can in here find Swinub, see to get a uh, pile of swine if you want an ice ground type. You can find the likes of Jinx in here, I believe you can also find Smoochum, the baby of uh, pre-evolution 2 Jinx. Um, you can also find in here Sneasel, Sneasel is a good Pokemon if you Want like to like to use the abilities of Slash? It will have a very very good critical uh, hit rate. Do we have any? Rep yes, we have a few repels. So uh, we're just going to use these repels to make our way through the cave. In here, you can also find um, if you want to go for it. That is Deli Bird. Deli Bird, to be quite honest, is a very very disappointing Pokemon. Doesn't really learn any moves. The only way you get this moves is by teaching TMs. It doesn't get any. Its move pool is quite poor. So, um, by the way, if you wanted, to, if you did that patch of ice, you will get HM7. Yeah, just an HM lying in the ground. This is HM Waterfall, which you will need to continue on your adventure. The reason you'll need it is for Victory Road. Uh, that will come at a later date. So just using the repel. To get our way through, um, in here you'll obviously need the you will need the move strength to make your way through and make your life a hell of a lot easier. So uh, basically, there is boulders here that you want to push. Don't mind me. We want your strength. So we have Axel to use strength. So we want to push the boulders up like so. And one more for measure. We want to push this one down, along, and so on to do that one. Boulder fell through. What we wanted. Push this down. I can't remember if we need. Yeah, we need to push it all the way along. We get down, up one, and then push this along. Use another repel. Excuse me. So we want to push it to at least here, come down, up, push down one, and then along. We want to go for the other boulders while we're here. So 
so you get the idea is completing the boulder puzzle I'm just gonna quickly do the boulder puzzles and I'll be right back with you boulder fell through the last boulder so I will now fall down this will make our life a hell of a lot easier to get to the middle which is where we want to be Pearl's effect fall off but obviously with repel we will really really won't be bothered by any Pokemon while we're on the ice uh, obviously you'll get gold bat in here if you want to catch a gold bat but I recommend if you want a crow bat it's ev uh, gold bat's evolution training from a zoo bat so I'm just gonna use that uh, repel and try and make our way to the middle um, excuse me could I be in the middle please okay find a max potion here so go along yep yeah, and down nope it did not help us whatsoever so uh, yeah, that, 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 that's your goal, basically, is try and make your way to to the actual middle. Um, which I am failing absolutely miserably at. So, um... We get down one, and along, and up, and there we go. Finally, we get to the middle. We got a full heal here. Um, I think I need to use another repel. Which I'm going to be using. And thank you. <laughs> that was almost awful. We could use Rock Smash here uh, to get this item ball with ease. Found a Never Melt Ice. Awesome power up ice type moves. I'll probably give that the crush to hold just for gym battle only. Uh, if we come around here, we have the ladders we need to take to progress. Just hop over for that. You don't have to get that iron ball. That iron ball isn't really worth much. I'm gonna. I'll get that iron ball just to see what it is. If it isn't a good item, I do apologize. Uh, the pals will fit more off. Okay. Game. I know what your game is. Uh, so with it, to get that iron ball, you need to do those steps. I'm just gonna quickly run away from the Swinub and show ya. So we'll just use the repel again. I don't know how that is automatically a hundred steps, but hey ho. Use this this takes us to the stairs here. So what we want is up, that way, that way, nope. Um, you know, I'm getting myself confu confused a lot. Um, I'm trying to get that item ball, see what it is for you guys. Um, I'm taking one too many steps. This is going very swimmingly. I hate ice physics in any sort of game. So we're down here, we hop down there and get an iron ball, which is TM44. Um, TM44 contains what exactly? Um, rest? So if you want the move, if you've been after the move rest, there you go, guys. Um, just need to make our way through this icy patch. Yeah, I think there's item balls down there. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if that's the way out either. We have an item here, which is another protein. Can't carry any more items. We can easily come back for this protein. Um, I th there's another item down here. It's a PP up, um, which would be it's very very useful for later dip moves. Um, but there you have it. I think this is yeah. This is the end of. Um, Yes, Kevin, we are now in Blackthorn City. So, not much to do in Blackthorn City. It's a quiet mountain retreat. There is a guy who is going to be training Pokemon. 
He wants a dragon, yeah, I believe. We're gonna heal up our team. And uh, we're gonna take on the gym in the next episode. We will go for our eighth and final badge. Hopefully in the next episode we will go to catch this sixth member of our team. Um, and also we can catch the ultra balls we need to for said member. So until then guys, Lord Oshawott, signing out.